Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to just film. I don't know what I'm filming though. I decided to do a talk through though because I haven't in a while. So yeah, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna film. I kind of want to do a dark lip today, so it might just be like a simple eye or something along those lines. But yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to use is this Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. Um, the light's really bright, but yeah, um, I've been using this for, mm, I don't know, like maybe two weeks ago, and I like it so far. They say to shake it because of the like charcoal in it. Um, it's supposed to like minimize. Um, your pores and mattify you see like that's why they ask you to spray it because you see like the white like film it kind of gives they say that if you don't shake it up really well like when it dries it'll leave this white film on you like a really bad one so if you guys get this shake it up really good um and my thoughts on it I don't know like it does keep me matte but I don't know I don't see like a huge difference and also this is like kind of like a first impressions like a review kind of thing I also been I got a sample of the um, the Becca primer like Becca mattifying primer hold on let me get the exact name the Becca ever matte primer um, I've been looking for primers because my nose, like, never ceases to be oily. Like, I just don't know what to do. No matter what I use, my, the oils on my nose just are like, hello, you're not mattifying me. Like, it's not a thing. Like, leave it alone. So, I spoke to somebody at Sephora and they're just like, this will be, like, the best thing ever. You know, use this. And I was like cool beans got you no no it just I mean I keep using it to see I don't, I don't know if maybe like you know this and this is just not a good mix I think I've used it without it though but I do have to say that on my forehead though I see that it does control the oil a little bit better on my forehead um but on my nose, it just, if the oil still poked through, like, I didn't put anything on it. So, I don't know if my nose is just, just will always be oily. Alright, first thing I'm going to start out with is brows as usual. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Blau, Blau, my L'Oreal Brow Plumper in... I think this is dark brunette or something of that nature and run it through my brows. Okay. And as that dries, I'm going to go straight on to the eyes. That right. Uh, okay. Okay, now for eyes, I'm going to again just use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I need to get another primer because I have this one for a very long time like an extensive amount of time like a not okay amount of time but no I'm broke so it's like <laughs> okay so just put that oh okay wow Put a decent amount all over your lids, not, I don't, I don't know what's going on, I'm sorry. Put concealer on it, I mean, on my eyelids just to, because I have like a little bit of darkness on my eyes. Not a lot, but I just like evening the canvas. Don't you feel me? Okay. I definitely don't have my beauty blender, hold on. Okay, so now with your beauty blender, just, you can even use your fingers, you don't necessarily a beauty blender 
Oh, this is not even a beauty blender. What? What's going on? What's going on? Real Technique Sponge Beauty, be beauty Blender. Whatever you got. Sponge from the dollar store. Do what you gotta do, girl. Just take it. Blend your concealer out. So now we're going to set it with Marciana from the Anastasia palette and this color is just like a little bit lighter than my skin tone and this will also be like our transition color. So now that our eyelids are all set, I look crazy. Um, um, I'm going to go into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, um, and I'm gonna go into this color. I just thump the thing. I'm going to go into this color here, and I'm gonna put that into the crease with this with the brush that comes with the Anastasia palette. Just use a blender brush, and actually no, I'm gonna go in with this brush from. Real Techniques, Ugh, lies, I keep going again, from Wet n Wild, and I don't know what it's called, but we're just going to focus that in the crease. And what I'm doing, I'm just turning the brush sideways. And this brush is like really nice and fluffy, so I'm just putting it in the crease and above it. Okay, now that we have that color, I'm gonna go back into back into the Modern Renaissance palette and take Raw Sienna once more, and I'm just gonna go right above it and just Blend it up. Okay. So now I'm going to go into mm, Bon Fresco, which is like a mauve, like a pink mauve. I never used this color before, so. We'll see how this looks on me. Um, and we're gonna put that right on the lid. It kind of looks white on camera. On me at least. But it has like a pinkish undertone. Okay, and I'm going to take this brush again and blend that out. Okay. <laughs> I look so crazy. Okay. I do want to go simple, so I'm actually going to take... this purple in this palette. I haven't used um, the chocolate bar palette in a hot minute. Okay. So I'm actually going to take Uncommon from the Grey Dragger palette, and I'm like jumping from palette to palette. So if you just have one palette that has like these colors, this is like a a purpley, sparkly color. Looks like that. It's just like, it has a purple undertone. And I'm just gonna pop that like right in the center. I'm actually gonna wet my brush just a little and pick up the color. And again, put it right in the center of the lid. 
just so it can be more pigmented. Okay, so now that that's done, I just wanted to like build up the intensity. Um, I feel like I'm going full purple today, so I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm actually going to go back and take Man Cat and should I keep understanding? Actually, guys, no. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take, I'm going to go back into the Anast Anast Anastasia palette and I'm going to go into Bon Fresco again and we're just going to put this like here and here just to build back up the intensity and also to blend the sparkly center of the lid out. And then I'm going to go into the Sassy Bun, just take any gold. Um, you can use Primavera from the Anastasia palette. There's also gold in the Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm going to put that, actually Vermeer. It's a lighter color. And I'm just going to put that right in the very center. Just to make it pop even more. And I'm going to use my finger for this. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I know it looks a little scary right now, but um, we'll come together once we put the foundation on. I'm going to do my brows off camera really quick with the Brow Stylus Plumper. Okay, now that the brows are done, I'm going to go back and like, clean them up, but now... <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna put a thin, 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 well I hope so because you know how long the eyeliner goes, but I'm gonna put a thin line just on my lash line. Okay. And now that you put that thin line just on the upper lash line, let's go right onto the face. I'm actually going to use the long comb. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce the color. It's T-E-I-N-T-I-D-O-L-E. -T -E um, I'm in 500 warm suede. So I'm going to just dot that all over the face. I have like a little sample of it. So I want to try it out. I heard it's a really, really good foundation, but because I'm in, like, I'm looking for another foundation currently, but I obviously don't want to spend the money if I don't know how it's going to go with my skin or anything like that, so this might be too much, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. And I'm actually going to use my Real Techniques, um, I think this is a buffing sponge, I mean buffing brush. I'm just going to blend that out. But I definitely like it. It just it goes on very smooth and it looks really pretty. Too. And now I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 3. I just bought a new one of these and oh, I love this. So just blend that out with your beauty blender and then I'm, I'm going to go in with my Black Opal Neutral Light Palette. I mean Neutral Light setting powder is in 06. Oh, 
I just love this concealer. And I'm also gonna put a little on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. this foundation is looking so now I'm gonna take my Mac um studio so now I'm gonna take my Mac studio fix powder and this is an oops, NW43 this isn't my exact color but, and this is like a powder foundation so you just want to take the lightest bit and just set the whole foundation on literally I'm just taking like the littlest bit I'm just setting all around that's it. So my black radiance pressed powder in ebony and I'm gonna contour. Okay, so now going back to eyes, I'm just gonna use my Rimmel Last Accelerator. Oh my gosh. Top is like peeling off. But yeah, my Rimmel Lash Accelerator and just do your lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that lashes are done, I'm just trying to figure out whether I want to do like a white waterline or black, but I think I might go with black just because I do a lot of looks with the waterline white just because I really like opened. You know, eyes looking really nice and open. But I'm taking my Maybelline gel liner and I'm just going to tight line with this. You can take like any black eyeliner you have. Okay, and now once that's done, just put it on the bottom waterline as well. Or maybe we should leave it there. I don't know. Um, okay, so now once that's done, uh, just go back into your Graveyard, Graveyard Girl palette and just take any dark purple. I'm going to use Man Cat and I'm just going to focus that on the lower lash line. And again, any dark purple you have will be perfectly fine. Um, and it's just just looks like that it's just like a basic purple so I'm sure there's like a palette that you could use like a different one and I'm just gonna put that right on the lower lash line And then just do a bottom mascara. Okay, so now we can't forget in our corner highlight. And of course, I'm going to take my Anastasia palette and just go into the color Vermeer and put that right in the inner corner. And this is just like champagne color just just love it it's so pretty and then for highlights we're gonna again a go I'm actually gonna take my baked highlighter by black radiance and I'm gonna put that on the cheekbones And now for lips, I'm gonna take MAC Vino, and it's just like a dark purple lip liner. I'm 
Let's just go all out, guys. You can do a nude lip, but I'm actually going to take Vamp It Up in 919B by Wet n Wild. It's like a very dark purple and put that on the lips. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not in love with the lip because this is like not my favorite dark purple lipstick because look you kind of put it on and it just rubs off so and I don't know the wet and wild um I think this is like the matte lipsticks they're usually pretty good um it could just be like their darker shades because I have another one my nude color by them and it's not bad and this does make your teeth look white because you know how some purples make them look kind of yellow but yeah this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know what you think obviously like you know if you don't want the lip I think the eye is like super pretty you know look good with a nice nude but hmm, try something different you know so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed bye